Hi, Tim, Steve, with another video, and this one's about red lights and a dog, and we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and continue on this. But how many times have you been in this, you know, sometimes you're driving to work or you're going to the store or whatever, and you just keep red lights? And there have been cases where I, you know, sometimes you get, the, you get kind of a mixture of green lights and you're, you're going forward and then, you know, you're doing okay. But sometimes you just get a lot of red lights. And I don't know, I mean, even for me, I've experienced that, and I'm sure you guys out there have fixed, you know, experienced that too. Every light. <laughs> where you go on this road, red light, every one of them. Well, the story I'm about to tell you is about that incident, and let me just give you a little background about this guy. Um, he had a lot of stuff going on in his family, and his wife was real ill, and she finally got better. I, I think it was a stroke or something that happened to her uh, really young. I mean, it was kind of you know stunning that, that she got really that sick. And then added to that, they had a son who also got sick, wasn't COVID. Uh, it was a real, uh, yeah, it was just a really bad flu bug, but it was really, I mean, it would, almost took his life. That's how bad it was. It attacked his heart. But anyway, to continue, it, all those situations got better, and he, one day, he's, you know, he's going to work. I mean, think about the past, things that are going on, that has gone in his life. He's kind of reflecting on it, and, uh, and he's driving, and he notices every time he comes to a stoplight, it's a red light. I mean, one after the next. He drives a little bit, red light. And, you know, normally you kind of go through, you have some red lights and you go through, but to every case there was a red light. He drives about a mile, another red light. Drives a half mile, another red light. And this continues on and on, and he has to get to work. And he drives, and, and you know, in front of him, he sees a uh, very terrible accident. And what he realized, that there was a force behind all this. Why he had all the red lights, it was not his time. If he was a, if he was hitting those green lights, and he was traveling, he would have won, been hit. And from what I understand, in the accident, uh, there was a guy that ran a red light, going really fast, from what I understand, and just crunched the car that was in, in front. So he had a detour, but he realized there was just something clicked in his mind. You know, it could have been him. And so he just kind of figured there was a force behind all that, and it, it just kind of. Um, he told his wife about the experience or whatever, but, you know, it's just, uh, he was just really taken aback by it. To continue on it, also, he ended up being in the hospital for another reason, and he had an, he had an experience. And what happened to it, they had a dog, and the dog had passed away some time. I think he lived about 14, 15 years old, pretty old for a dog. And so the dog had passed away very close, really part of the family, just really very, very close. And what happened is that the dog passed away, a natural death. The dog just just was old and uh, just old. But anyway, uh, the dog passed away, and, and then he's in the hospital, and he's having a, during some surgery, he was having an ending experience, and the ending experience, he was going to heaven, and he was kind of in the middle ground. It wasn't really going to heaven as such, but he was kind of in the middle. And he sees his dog. And the dog is in a kind of like a huge park with all these other dogs, all these other animals are out there. And, and he sees the dog, and the dog turns around and sees him. So he turns, I mean, he's looking at the dog, and they're both looking at each other, and he's calling to him. Literally, he's calling out to the dog. The dog wouldn't come. And, and you know, I, the dog communicated to him in telepathy, I guess, from what I understand. Uh, telepathy, there wasn't his time. And the dog couldn't come. Now I've heard cases like that before with other. You know, I, I think I did a video some time back about you know with pets and on a dog. You know, if it's not your time, the dog will not come. Even though you think it would, it just will not come until it is your time. But that's his story. And and I you know I said about the red lights and, and about the dog. But every every one of us have had that case where we're driving down a street and I'm just kidding you. We're just hitting every red light that there is. And sometimes you wonder. You know, you know who, what force is behind there, but in his case, there was a force behind it. And if he was a few, you know, maybe a minute before, if he had those green lights, he would have been in that terrible accident. Anyway, this is going to be kind of a short story or a, just a short uh, video, but just want to share it. I thought it was it was um, something that's very common to all of us, the red lights. So I wanted to share this experience with you. But all, as always, I hope your day is going well. And. Uh, until the next video, but appreciate your time. Thanks again for your time.